All right, so we're going to borrow 181,000 at 5.251% APR. The term is 15 years, and then we find this monthly payment, right? So what we have is the amount borrowed. We need to first find R and T, okay? So let's start with T. T is the number of payments. So the number of payments, T, is 15 years times 12 months, okay? Now 15 times 12 is 180. So over the course of the loan, 15 years, we're going to make 180 monthly payments, okay? Um, so now we need to find R, the monthly interest rate R. We're given the annual percentage rate. We need the monthly interest rate R. And R equals, you take the APR and you just divide it by 12, right? So we take our 5.251% and put it over 12. Now as a decimal, that becomes 0 0.05251, right? And then we divide that by 12. And then we get a big long number. Now that's uh, 0 0.0521, oh, 5251 over 12. 0 0.0043753. So this is a key to making the calculation correct. You can either use this thing over 12 or this big long decimal, right? Now I'm going to do it where I'm going to use this thing over 12, but you can do it this way as well. Like in other words, you plug this in. Um, and just just a heads up, I mean a lot of a lot of mistakes are um, with parentheses. So so watch out that you got to go one plus r and then put it to the power of t. Um, watch out that there's parentheses on the bottom here. So we got to get your parentheses right. But anyway, um, so our formula now is going to be 181,000 times r. And now I'm going to go. Um, time, so it's parenthesis, or maybe in your calculator you want to go um, star, right, for for multiply, so multiply by r, and um, I'm going to go with this thing over 12 just to be more accurate, so I'm going to put it in parentheses, 0 0.05251 over 12, okay, and then times 1 plus r to the power of t. Now, if I use my thing over 12, I need to do this. 1 plus 0 0.05251 over 12, right? Um, and I can't just add the 1 with that, right? If I add the 1 with that, you know, that's 1.052 or whatever, 5251 over 12, and that gives that number, 0 0.0877. Like, that's definitely not what we want, because this number needs to be more than one. So that's different than one plus 0 0.5, or 0 0.05251 over 12. See that? See how these two things are different? I'll put that up to the camera here, whoops. All right, so one of them, yeah. Sorry, there we go. So, so these things are different. In in the first instance, we first added one, and then we divided by twelve, okay, to get this point zero eight seven seven. But in the next instance, we first divided by twelve, and then we added one, to get the one point zero zero four three, which is exactly what we want. Because you see how the the monthly interest rate has been added on here to the one. So this is the one we want. Now your calculator understands PEMDAS. It's going to divide by 12 and then it's going to add the 1. So that's why this one is correct and the top one is incorrect. Okay, so this is how we need to put it in the calculator. Because that will give the 1, because 1 plus R should be, you know, your 1 point, you know, 1 plus R should, e, should be 
you know, four, three, seven, five, eight, three, three, and so on, right? That's what it should be. Now, you can put that in directly, and it'll work out close enough. But I'm just going to do it like this just to be more most accurate. Then I put this guy to the power of T. We found that T was 180, okay? So that is the top of the fraction, right? And then that is all over. Or if you want to put it as a one-liner, you can say, you know, divide that by, divide that by, and then parentheses, and then do whatever's in the bottom. And again, we have 1 plus R to the power of T, so that's, you know, 1 plus 0 0.05251 over 12 to the power of 180, subtract 1, right? And notice the parentheses here. There's a, a red parenthesis to enclose the bottom of the fraction. So if you type all of this out, it'll give you the correct answer, right? We could, like, some, some students like to put a parenthesis around the top of the fraction as well, just to say to the calculator, please calculate the top, then please calculate the bottom, and then divide, right? So this is a one-line calculator entry right here, right? Um, so some students like to just, let's calculate the top first, and then write out the number, and then calculate the bottom and divide, right? Or again, you could use one, this for 1 plus r and, and this for r if you wanted to as well. So anyway, I'll just do the top, and then I'll do the bottom, and then I'll divide. But if you wanted a one-line calculator entry, you would use these all of these parentheses. So I'm just going to calculate the very top, then the bottom, then divide. All right? Let me get my darn lighting working here. Uh, let's see, so 181,000 times parenthesis 0 0.05251 over 12 times, that doesn't work, does it? Maybe that's good enough, um, times parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.05251 over 12, and then to the power of 180, right? And like I said, if I wanted at this point, I could go, you know, divide, and then parenthesis, parenthesis, and then do the bottom here. I could do that, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do the top, then the bottom. So if you're, if you're watching this for help, you'll see which, where you messed up, right? So we should have this number on the top. So we should have 1738.061529 on the top. And then on the bottom, it's parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.05251 over 12 to the power of 180. And then subtract 1. Okay. So let me just, so that's just what I've written out here, right? And we should get 1.1944. 1 uh, 50, 554, five, et cetera, right? So what I'm going to do, instead of typing th these out, I'm just going to go up with the up arrow. I'm going to select that number, press enter now. What's that? So I selected that number with the up arrow, press enter. Then I'm going to hit divide. Then I'm going to go up, I'm going to select that number, press enter, and so it's this number divided by this number. Now press enter, 1455, right? Point 0.1138, blah, 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 blah. Look, let's round that to the nearest dollar, right? I hope, yeah, round it to the nearest dollar, so that's approximately 1,000. $455, that's your monthly payment. So if you borrow this amount of money at this interest rate, and the term is 15 years, you pay this amount of money each month, and, oh, sorry, whoops, pay this amount of money each month, and then after 15 years, your loan of $181,000 will be paid back, right?